In this video, I'm testing out the Shark Vertex Multiflex Cordless Vacuum, so let's get started. The Shark Vertex is a lightweight cordless stick vacuum weighing just under 9 pounds. Insert the wand into the floor nozzle or the foot, then attach the handheld vacuum. With your foot on the floor nozzle, tilt the wand back and this will get the brush roll started. Slide the switch up to the hard floor setting and the brush rolls will spin slowly to clean bare floors and small area rugs. I started off with some bird seeds and you can see them here in the dustbin. The floor nozzle is very easy to manoeuvre with the rubber wheels helping to glide it around easily. It prevents it from scratching my hardwood floor and making too much of a noise. The LED lights are great, especially for those darker corners and areas. I didn't realise how much dust was gathered behind these areas until the LED lights showed me. The lights are great for those hidden spots or where there isn't much light normally. With just one press of the release button, you can lift the handheld vacuum off and attach any of the included accessories. The crevice tool is great for cleaning around edges and you can also attach the brush tool for cleaning furniture or drapes etc. The multiflex feature is on the back of the wand here. Press this unlock latch and this will adjust to a lower angle to easily clean under the furniture. But I have to admit I did find it a little bit awkward to steer unless I was standing exactly in line with the wand. Anything out of alignment caused a little bit of difficulty in steering and repositioning my body to match the vacuum and it was just a bit too much of an effort to do and very awkward to control. Puts a little bit of strain on my arm and shoulder when I'm trying to get it to go underneath the furniture, especially on carpet. The other thing I wanted to point out is the multiflex button and the handheld button are opposite each other and it kept confusing me because they both kept switching sides, meaning the multiflex release button is at the back when it's in the standing position and the handheld release button is at the front. When the vacuum is in storage position, the multiflex button now moves to the front and the handheld release button is now at the back. So every time I went to press the multiflex button, forgetting that it's now moved to the front, I kept releasing the handheld vacuum instead, causing it to fall off every time. It does take a few uses, but you finally get the hang of it. But the first few times caught me off guard, especially when the handheld vacuum fell hard onto the hardwood floor. I actually thought I broke it. You also want to be careful not to get your finger caught in between the flexi holes as you're opening and folding down the wand. I learned that lesson a few times. And lastly, when I'm using the wand at a lower angle, it did hit against the furniture a few times and that caused the finishing to come off the wand here. So I was a little annoyed at that and I had to remember not to go too close to the edges of the furniture. Uh, so in some spots I couldn't uh, take the vacuum all the way to the back of the wall for cleaning. I did a carpet test on my high pile patterned rug to see how good the suction power is on the Shark Vertex starting with bits of craft tissue paper, then some sand, and of course I had to try it out on hair. The Shark Vertex had no issues vacuuming up the tissue paper. It did really well surprisingly on the sand. I was expecting it to leave some of it behind because it is a lot finer. But the suction power is really good and it got it all. The hair did gather in the brush roll and in hindsight I would say that it was my fault for not letting the rollers run for a little longer to give it time to untangle and suck the hair out of the rollers. I made this video within the first few days of owning the vacuum, however I have been using it for about 4 months now and I'll be honest and say that there hasn't been this amount of hair tangled in the rollers over the last few months that I've been using it. And it does say it in the manual as well to let the rollers run a little longer for the self-cleaning feature to work. Overall, the carpet test passed with flying colors. 
Moving on to the hardwood area and the mats in the kitchen, I'm testing everything out from uncooked rice to flour and even some garlic peels just to see how good the suction is using the hardwood setting. And again, it cleaned it surprisingly well. The mat has obviously angled edges, so I'm not gonna blame that on the vacuum, but otherwise it did really, really well cleaning it. And you can even see how it sucked out all the dirt from the cracks in the hardwood here. I was definitely impressed with that. And I honestly was expecting some of the finer flour to be left behind in these gaps. So yes, I'm definitely impressed with this. It comes with a 0.79 litre dustbin. You'll just slide this ejector button forward to release the dirt. And inside you'll see that there is a filter here. There's another release button here which will let you remove the dustbin. I did find it a little hard to do for the first couple of times and then it eventually loosened up. You may want to just check inside the wand to see if there's anything stuck in there. And here I'll pull out the filter and at least once a month you want to give this a wash with water only and then let it air dry for 24 hours before inserting it back in. At the back of the dust cup here, pull out both the foam and the felt filters to wash and you can also wash the dust cup with water only and let it air dry completely before assembling it together again. clean the soft roller there's an eject button here on the side to pull it out and you'll be able to clean out any dirt or debris gathered in this area here and you can wash and replace the soft roller by attaching the right side first then on the left side line up the tab where it says front until it clicks in You can open the cover using a coin or any flathead tool, turning counterclockwise to open. The duo clean feature is a combination of the power fins and the soft roller. The fins work to dig deep into the carpets and remove the tiny little dirt particles that are trapped in there along with the hair. And the soft roller will pick up larger dirt pieces and is more gentle on polished hard floors. The comb-like tool on the inside here and also on the cover here act as the self-cleaning feature. So as the brush rolls are spinning, they should uh, remove any of the tangled hair that get caught up in there. This means that you don't have to manually remove hair and debris from the brush roll. This model that I'm reviewing is the iZ440 series, which doesn't come with a removable battery. So I'll just plug it into charge and fold down the wand to store it. And here you can see the battery level indicators. Overall, I thought the Shark Vertex was a really good vacuum cleaner. I was very impressed with the suction power, especially how it did on the hardwood floors. Everything from the finer flour to the larger garlic peel pieces. It, it cleaned it up really well and even through those cracks as well that I showed earlier on, it did a really good job of picking up all the dirt. I'm not too keen on the multi-flex feature, I'll be honest with that. It's confusing and it hurts when it pinches your finger and it's also quite hard to maneuver when it's in the multiflex feature unless you're standing in alignment with it. It has a 15 minutes run time, so that's pretty good. I can probably clean my whole house for 15 minutes, so that's a really good run time. 
and I like that you can just fold it down and you can store it away so it's quite hidden the only thing that I don't like is that it's not freestanding and a lot of these cordless vacuums are not freestanding due to the weight of the dustbin and the motor head being on the top all right guys i hope you found this review useful if you have any questions or comments please leave them below don't forget to give this video a like and if you are new to my channel do consider subscribing and i hope to catch you in my next video